going on guys welcome back to the channel Jay Buck with some real stories for you summer's over kinda don't be sad don't be tearing up we did that last night today we're smiling because we're talking about fall walking baits guys I put together a quick handful of baits to talk to you guys about for that fall transition that fall bite you know I love topwater baits everybody loves topwater baits so I got a quick box here we're gonna run down these baits that I think you guys should be tossing this fall I mean there's big fish coming they're schooling up these fish are getting together and they're focusing on dead less active bait I'm not saying you can't catch a big fish on an erratic square bill that's still pretty effective but I really like to move to a more of a top water, slow, lethargic, suffering gill presentation. All right, for you guys that don't know what a walking bait is, I'm gonna assume most of you do, we're gonna do a quick rundown of what it is. You got yourself a long, more of a cylindrical profile of a bait, less bulky, but got a lot of presence in the water. Typically two or three hanging trebles, and then some of them have a cupped face, but then when you're talking about cupped face, you're kind of moving into the walk-in popper realm. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna talk about mostly big walk-in baits, and then we're gonna cross over into some popping baits. This first bait, I want you guys to consider. It's one of my all-time favorite baits, and it's a light bait. Unfortunately, it's about 20 bucks. This Mega Bass Dog X Diamante. There's a couple different styles of the Dog X, but I'm gonna tell you, go straight to the big one, the Diamante, because that's the size you're looking for this time of year. It's got a pretty obnoxious rattle. It's kind of a plasticky, high pitch. There is a silent version, but I stick to the rattle. I got a ton of these baits. I'm gonna link down below all the baits I'm talking about with a couple color recommendations of my favorites that I think you guys should give a go. But first up, Black Python. I really like a bold presence, and this kind of does double duty for those overcast days. You know how fall falls rolling in. You kind of got more hazy mornings, cool afternoons. It's pretty much overcast all the time. Black is dominant, guys. I'm telling you, give it a go. Comes with some decent hooks. They're actually saltwater style hooks. Got that silver finish. So if you guys aren't digging that, switch over to your favorite small EWG. I think that's gonna hold the fish more for you, an EWG. But if they're just slapping at the bait, and this time of the year they are because they're trying to kill it, especially pike, they will thrash a bait. And we'll talk about that in a minute, just one minute. Back to these hooks. Go with a round bend if they're slapping at it or if you're having trouble hooking up. Just quickly go over it, EWG helps them stay pinned, round bend helps them initially hook up but switch to your favorite. I like these, they're actually pretty effective. They're strong, they're stout, but some guys just don't like that saltwater look. Next, we're gonna talk about this little, I believe this is Secret Gill. Man, it's, it's sick. We got that dark green, brown back, fading into a really, really transparent blue with that little gill, the gill red there on the bottom. Awesome, awesome bait. Got a lot of details in the head, and it's less about the details, it's more about the action out of this bait. You can create some really, really wide walks with this bait from side to side without moving too far out of the strike zone. You can get some really far lateral walks with this. And then you can speed it up and really make this thing start bouncing some water. So again, Dog X Diamante by Mega Bass. Next, let's talk about this. We got this River to Sea Rover, the big one. I believe she's the 128, should say on it, may have chewed it off, nope, 128, the big one, coming in a little over an ounce, about an ounce, so you're going to have to upsize your gear if you don't have a rod to throw a heavier bait. Definitely got a way deeper rattle. I really like to attack the fish with both options, guys. Listen to that versus this. Completely night and day. So... 
if anything, find yourself two baits that have two different distinct sounds and even add yourself a silent in there if you want to be ultra deadly. Again, Rover. I really like the little cup in the mouth there. It's so subtle, but it really holds back some water to make this thing really dart back and forth. And you can actually get a little bit of bubble out of this if you're really working it. It's got some oversized treble hooks, way more stout than this Mega Bass. Check it out, how thin of a wire and gauge that is, small hook. Now we're moving in to some biggies. They actually have a different size front hook. I believe this is a two and this is a four. You see that so it helps it not get hooked up when you're throwing it through the air. Really good bait, really nice feather on the back. They don't do the greatest job on clear coat, but most companies don't when they're adding, adding a feather. And it's pretty decently priced, so give this one a go. It's, it's got a lot of action of that other bait, completely different sound, and I know it resembles that Vixen. I've ordered Vixens, I don't know, I think it's been like a, two years, at least a year I ordered, ordered a bunch of those. Never saw them, I have no idea where those are. But so, got that look that I know you're gonna like. And River she's got a ton of colors. I really like a chartreuse presence. Like I said, I like that gill look and I like a bold pattern this time of year. All right, next, let's talk about this. This Yellow Magic Havana. I love taking this bait early morning. I like the action or the presence it gives in the water. When you start walking this bait again, it really has got to jump up out of the water. So it's really looking like it's fleeing. It's just another presentation, another look. The tackle junkies will tell you this. You don't have to have them all, but showing them something different is really important. Especially if you know guys are throwing walking baits, <clears throat> excuse me, all over the lake. You need to find one that they're not seeing too often because they're gonna start to key in on They start to key in on that noise. If, if every one of your buddies is throwing mega bass, you've got to be different because they're not gonna hit all of you. Back to the Havana. This is a nice, nice looking bait. They do an ultra great job on their colors. You see this trout pattern here. It's just freaking amazing. It's got a lot of different colors. Give them, check a look, check a look. The Havana is gonna get you big, guys. And kind of along that same line, this Duo Realis, this Pencil 110, gives you that look being kind of vertical in the water rather than like this. So you're like this. And this is just a great color. I really like their gill colors. They put out, they provide a lot of flash out of their baits. Honestly, not one of my top throwers, but when I do throw it, it gets bit. I really like throwing this around docks because this thing is nice. I can get it up under there a lot easier than some of these big baits. Dualis. I don't have much experience with this bait, but I've caught a bunch of fish on it, and it's just got another look. I want you guys to try it out and let me know what you think about it because maybe I'm going to up up the amount of times I use this because like I said I just throw this around docks primarily and it's I'm sure I'm going to be able to smash on other baits. All right. Last on big old walking baits. Let's talk about this. You absolutely cannot leave your house going into the fall transition into the fall topwater bite without a super spook. You know, and if you don't have a bone one, DM me guys. We're gonna figure out how to get you a bone super spook. This is like absolutely must have. You might transition away because there's so many sweet looking things out here. And this, this just looks, let's not even get into what it looks like. This thing smashes. This is old reliable, really ultra deep knock. And it's gonna get you bit. Hardware out of the box, this one, this bone one comes with that saltwater hook. I don't like it. Haven't changed it on this one. I'm going to change these out. So front red hook, but that's for another time. Super spook. This, the original walking bait that we were all talking about, that I was talking about, that I tried, you need to give it a go if you haven't. Even if you've been topwater fishing for years, if you haven't thrown it, you need to try it because it, it gets it done. Might not be as fancy as some of these things, but it absolutely gets it done. Walk is amazing. Just the, the, the lower rattle, even lower than this river to see. There's a little bit of glass or plastic in there. That is a very solid producer. 
pike act love this bait. So if you're on a pike bite or on a musky bite, throw yourself that giant spook. This is probably the most slender walking bait that I own. If I'm thinking, even though it's fall, they're kind of lethargic, the top water bite's slowing down. If I'm around an absolute ton of cover, this Rico Suave is where I'm throwing. It's, I don't want to say it, it's like my secret top water, that silent shh -sh top water, because in the water, it just, it looks like it's not there, and it just gives just enough rattle, not overpowering, very plasticky, glassy sound, but it just slides. It, this thing like swims through the water. This, this bait takes a lot of time to master, to get a lot of bites out of, so if this isn't something you want to put the time and invest in, I wouldn't recommend it big ones haven't had any giants on it but this is like the finesse loud top water so if you're wanting the top water but step it down into more of a silent profile but not silent this is it just because of the profile in the water is just so so minute but it's still got the presence of a long bait fish it's just not got the girth if you know what I'm talking about Rico Suave is definitely a niche bait that takes a lot of time to learn but give it a go because it's going to get you bit. And then it's something I guarantee you a lot of guys aren't throwing around you. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this thing up with two baits here. First, you saw a little bit of it. It's the shower blows. Let's grab both of them. The big one and the small one. I think this is a very overlooked bait. It has so much drawing power with that rattle. It sits horizontal in the water and, in my opinion, the most erratic top water if you want it to be. You can get this thing walking really ultra ride walks, splashing water, or you can get it to just bob in place just because of this profile. This big meat butt, these big butt cheeks back here really hold that bait in place. But if you want to speed it up, you can get this thing dancing, darting, flopping, flying. This thing gets hammered a lot. I will say it gets missed a lot too. It gets blown out of the water. So if, you, if you're getting blown out of the water, just wait. Don't set the hook. I know it's really hard. Just wait. There's probably a pike trying to stun it. Just wait and maybe twitch it. Get yourself another bite. That's the, super hard to do, but try it. If you're getting blown out, just wait. Just wait, wait, wait. Shower blows. Big one. And then the small one gets a lot less love just because this one's so effective. But for you guys that don't have the heavier gear, they just don't like a big profile. To be honest, my, my dad just does not like a big profile. Give them something that they're going to have the confidence to throw, and then once they get bit, then they're going to want to step up, or you're going to want to step up. The smaller one just does not have the power as the big one, but it's an ultra great pencil bait. You can see we got this bass pattern here. It's got a little bit of flash. That just resembles a good fall pattern, guys. Eyes are just straight legit and then it's the unique mouth of them all one of the most unique faces in a bait on the water all right finally last up the mega bass pot max and the river to sea bubble walker I have a whole video dedicated to these baits on why you need to throw them I'll link that above Go check it out if you really want an in-depth look at these baits. But I'm going to tell you to throw it. Poppers are effective this year. I know we talked about walking baits, but poppers are effective. When you can get a popper that also doubles as a walking bait, you're golden, guys. Let me tell you, this stuff gets bit. If you want the just ultra action, just the best, best bang, Pop Max, $20 bait. It's got one of the best mouths in the business got gill flares under there to suck up water great bubble trail it's an amazing popper and it's an amazing walker and this is something i have in my bag year round now on the contrary this river to sea is the best alternative you're going to get it pretty much looks like the exact same bait biggest difference is there's no gill flare on the bottom that spits water like it does in this one as you can see right there but they still got the front and the mouth, and they have a different knock, not exactly the same. 
so figure out what knock you want and this one's considerably cheaper so that's probably gonna that's probably gonna determine it for you now this time of year some sort of chrome is legit I like a lot of flash and I mean this is the same pattern I think this is gizzard sad I really like the river to see because there's a little more chrome on the gills there to pop more flash so I might lean to this but if I want a little more sneaky I just want the best hardware you can get or the best bait this is it 95% of the time these baits are in my bag for the fall guys you don't want to miss out on a small pop-in walking bait I know we talked about big ones this is it if you're gonna have the popper but you want to try the big stuff river to sea bubble walker or that mega bass pop max these are solid solid baits now the gear I'm throwing pretty much all of these baits on. I have one rod here that gets it done. This is Mega Bass Rochi. We got 611 medium. This is their jerk bait rod. It's got that river to sea on it. You can see. I got the snap because I like to change quick. And then I got a, a pretty fast Scorpion MGL here. XG is 8 to 1, 8 5, even faster. I've had no problem getting on these fish and it's not been too fast that I pull it away. So faster gear ratio this scorpion has been bomb anything from that 610 to 72 area medium or even a lighter medium heavy is going to get it done the tip is ultra light and it's just got a little more give than say your traditional medium heavy that you're throwing a heavy spinner bait on because you need to be able to walk this bait and that little tip is going to be important to pick up that slack line without overworking the bait you can easily overwork a top water and lose all the action you're looking for and if you can swing it I'd say up your spend on the rod just to make it lighter your whole outfit should be lighter if you can because if you're gonna be walking all day your wrist is gonna get tired of popping the weight of that rod and reel all day long shorter butt section is important so you don't get it hung up under your body there but most 610 to 72 rods are gonna get it done medium like I said or a lighter medium heavy. Hope this video helped you guys. I hope you guys catch a fat topwater fish on one of these baits. I hope one of them gets it done for you. If I'm gonna recommend one, Dog X Diamante, and then we're gonna come back with the shower blows. Bunch of great baits for you guys. I hope it helped you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new. I appreciate you guys watching and just have a great time fishing this year. I hope you guys had a great summer. I hope you guys have a great fall. I'll catch you in the next video.